In the following clips I will create corrective blend shapes for the hips and the main challenge here is to connect those shapes to the appropriate skeleton poses. Let me quickly explain to you what the challenge by connecting those corrective blend shapes to the poses of the skeleton is. Remember what we did with the knee. We were just connecting the corrective blend shape to the rotation channel which is driving the appropriate pose. In this case you might think this is the rotate X channel again. The difficulty in this case is that different to the knee the hip joint is rotatable in all three rotation axes. You can have a look at your own knee and you will find out that there is just one possible angle direction in which you can bend your knee. All the other rotation axes, so to speak, would really hurt if you try to bend your knee in those directions. But for the hip it's different, so you can rotate the hip in all three directions. That comes with the following issue. Let's imagine you would rotate your hip in this direction, which seems to be the rotate X channel. And next you would decide to rotate it to the side, so in this direction. So what you can see in the values on the channel box is that the rotate X channel still has a value. If you would have connected the blend shape to the rotate X rotation channel, then this blend shape would still be active. Let me quickly demonstrate this. So I prepared a scene where I did what I was talking about before, so I did the same connection as for the knee. Now when I'm rotating the joint upwards, that first seems to be fine. The blend shape is triggered as it should be. But now when I'm rotating the leg to the side, you can see that the blend shape is still triggered and how it definitely doesn't look as good anymore. The thing is that actually in this pose, we never rotated our leg to the front, but only to the side. I will show you this from the start. I will reset this pose. And now I will recreate exactly the same pose by using completely other rotation channels. So when I'm turning the leg to the side and then twisting the leg, I'm reaching exactly the same pose as we had before. But as you can see, the rotate X channel is not triggered at all. For comparison, that was the pose before. Have a look at the rotation channels, how they were before. And now, when we use the other way of rotating the leg into this pose. So that means that a connection to a rotation channel in case of a joint which is rotatable in all three axes is never ever reliable. Digging deeper into the rotation topic would be way too much for this beginner's class. So that could fill a whole new course. So let's just keep it like that and keep in mind that rotation is an issue on its own. And the three rotation values that you can see in the channel box are never representing a unique pose. So that means that you are actually not allowed to use a rotation channel as a driver value for anything else unless it's the only rotatable channel of a joint and the other two channels are never used anyways.